Hello, it is I, your internet friend, Robert Guterian. <laughs> and uh, today we're talking about Java debugging, uh, command line, and then using an IDE. Uh, the first thing to do uh, when we're compiling our command line program is Java C. We've com compiled via command line. This one's no surprise. We want to add the dash G, which adds a debugging information into our class file that is output. And I'm taking one out of casting.java, which is inside of our Java bootcamp, which you should check out. Uh, and it takes a little while longer, which is interesting. It is adding more juice to this, which is good. And GDB is GNU debugger. PDB is Python debugger. Guess what Java's debugger is? Well, if you guess JDB, you get a prize. And uh, the way I like to use it is that I call it right on the file that has my main method in it. Uh, you can just fire up JDB and then attach to things. And JDB has lots of command line flags to let you have streams and lots of other important things. This is the easiest way. And that means that is the rub approved way because it's easy. Uh, I want to uh, stop it at line 10 inside of this file. Uh, that is stop at casting colon, which means line. And we'll say maybe 12. We're really going to that file. And it'll say deferring breakpoint. It'll be set after the class is loaded. It is kind of loaded, I guess. But all I have to say is run. Uh, and it'll run. Uh, if you're not attached to a uh, class file already by using JDB and then your class name, uh, you'll actually have to say which file to run. In this case, I can just run it. And it'll say, oh, I printed wide. I did a bunch of great stuff. And now it's just waiting for me to do something. And this is where it gets scary. Um, list will show us where the heck we are in our code. And we can see above uh, that we have some um, variables being set. And does, guess what? Some casting. <laughs> and then it prints all this stuff out, which is great. So um, I want to see my locals. And it will show me all my local variables, which is really handy. I can also print single variables, uh, which is very helpful if I want to know what it is currently. Uh, and again, this is all about stopping execution, seeing where execution is going, and inspecting our variables. So we can inspect our variables. And now we want to be able to walk through our program. Uh, step i will step into. That's what the i is for. And I'll move to the next line of code. Uh, it'll tell us what it is. No, that's OK. Um, nope, <laughs> can't press up apparently. Oh, it's exclamation mark, exclamation mark to repeat. Nope, OK, step I. Uh, I'll try that again. There you go. And it'll actually step through. And uh, I guess, oh yeah, it's calling line. It is, this is the line of code that's running. I thought I stopped at a different part of my file. And um, that's great. If we want to step over a function call, uh, and notice that it's not stepping into system.out.println, that's probably a good thing. Um, you can do next, uh, which will go to the next line of code in this stack frame. So it's not going to increase the stack frame by stepping into a method. Uh, and finally, if we just want to, we're done here, or we want to go to our next um, breakpoint, we can say continue or cont. Uh, and that will go and run and do a bunch of stuff. And you can see that it's gone to the end and the application exited. That's what we want to see. We're happy. Uh, there is lots of other commands we can use, uh, which is uh, at, you know, JDB. Guess what? Go to Oracle. They are the people who own Java. Yes, Java is owned. Uh, and there is some issues coming up with a license recently. Um, drama, drama. And Java gets a lot of flack for being, oh, no one uses Java. People use Java, and they're big companies. And uh, Oracle wants to cut, and that's, you know what, fine. Um, run, continue print. You've seen all these. Uh, dump for primitive values. It's the same as print. So, uh, you can also dump objects to see what your object state is, because in Java, everything's an object. So that means that we can see everything inside of it. We can also see all of the, uh, they call them fields, uh, or I usually call them attributes. Uh, so these the instance variables uh, of your uh, methods or of the classes that are bobbing around, objects. <laughs> objects are instanti instantiated classes. I do know this. And where will give us the stack trace. Uh, in my example, 
we're not actually we haven't gone anywhere so the stack trace isn't interesting that is a very important thing to use if you are anywhere inside of a real program that you're deep inside of a program you can see how you got there which is really really valuable but that's all fine and good uh what most people want to see is uh this inside of an ide um i showed uh PyCharm for Python. This is IntelliJ, and this is uh, JetBrains uh, released of something that you can use to debug Java, which is, guess what? Great. Uh, so uh, right click and run. Uh, if you don't have a run profile already, uh, that's an important thing. If you've never used IntelliJ before, you can't just mash the play button uh, because it, IntelliJ and these are project based. Uh, so it'll run the project and usually there's a single entry point into your project and you can be somewhere deep, deep, deep inside your project uh, where there isn't a main method and it'll just execute it. So uh, this is the best way to run it and it'll run and oh, it didn't stop on my breakpoint. That's because I wanted to debug it. Uh, guess what? Debug. Boop. And then it'll actually stop and it has wonderful uh, hints right inside your code that are the current state of these variables. Uh, we have uh, step over, uh, step into, and force a step into, which I'm, I actually don't know what that one does, and step out, which will do the return. Uh, those are your usual um, control things. It does the run to cursor, which is easily my favorite uh, function of a, a, um, a GUI IDE like this. Uh, it's amazing. I love that. And of course, your continues over here, and you can just stop. Uh, stop is also up here, which is very handy. Uh, in this case, I just want to stop because I am done. Uh, that's it. Uh, debugging is easy and incredibly useful. So uh, I encourage you to use a debugger whenever you are confused as to why your program is not running the way you would expect. Um, printing is all fine and good. Debuggers give you a lot more information. I hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you later.